Hey, my name is Larry and I'm with Under the Bridge Flies and we're going to tie a caddis worm here real quick. This is a really easy tie. And uh, we're starting out uh, Daiichi uh, 1130 and this is actually a size 12. And we're going to put on a Cyclops gold bead. And then I'm just going to get this ready. All right, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in some lead wire and I'm uh, 0 .020 for this size hook and everything is absolutely perfect for this fly. So anyway, we're just gonna wrap that around and we're just gonna go around six, seven times, you know, and then we'll just twist that back tail on. Once you get that back tail on there, <laughs> that was good. Just pull that wire back a little bit. Use your bead to push it back if you want. And then we're going to zap a gap this thing in place. We'll just put some zap a gap right up in there and push that back forward. That just locks in all of our lock our look that silver stuff and that gold thing. It locks it in. All right, next we're going to get us some 8-0. I'm using 8-0 dark brown, and we'll just get started right behind the lead. And what you want to do is just build this up to where you're getting a nice smooth transition to your hook from that lead. So you ain't got a big old dip in your... Once you get that to where it's pretty fairly smooth, I mean, don't have to be absolutely perfect, but like I said, we're going to get that to where kind of even up through there. All right, so once you get that all done, you're going to grab yourself a piece of uh, tippet, fishing line, whatever you got handy there. Um, I'm just using... Uh, bunch of tippet that my wife got me uh it's actually empty and i'm just gonna break us off a piece and i'm just gonna tie that right into the side and bring that all the way down to the bottom where it's out of the way and the next thing we're going to use is uh, some uh, nymph skins. This is natural latex that we're using. And this is a Kylie's product. Uh, Jonathan Kylie there. Um, if you haven't checked him out, uh, he's on Facebook. Um, flyskins.com, I believe. But he has some really nice stuff. Um, got some really nice betas backs and woolly booger sides. And I mean... But check out Jonathan there on Facebook. Uh, he's got some good products. Uh, anyway, so we're going to take our nymph skin and we're just going to cut a notch out of it and just make a little point. And we'll just tie that point in on the side there. Once you get it good and tied in, just go ahead and stretch and take it back to where you want to start your body there and move your thread all the way back up behind that eye grab your nymph skin and just start turning it on there give it a little bit of a stretch to it um, not a lot don't stretch it real hard unless you don't want to rib on this thing um, start overlapping it by half and once you get started then you can see you know the half real easy on this i mean you can see through this nymph skin pretty good so but just going to go ahead and bring it all the way up and we're going to get right behind that bead with that turn there and then we're just going to capture this and once you get it captured get you three or four wraps around her four or five whatever snip that skin off get that out of your way and just go ahead and run your thread back a little bit and 
tie that down real good that way she don't slip off on you okay the next thing we're using is I'm using the hair's ear plus dubbing and I'm using the chocolate um, hair's ear plus uh, brown olive stuff like that will work real good for this fly too but this has um, chocolate and silver strands in it so it works real good and all I'm gonna do is basically just wet with my finger a little bit to where this is going to stick to it some and you don't want a whole bunch up there but just get it to stick and once you got her sticking there just go ahead and start wrapping your uh, nymph skin around and that stuff's going to just fly everywhere as you're wrapping this but just kind of pat it back up there and when you're wrapping your when you're wrapping your tippet on there go right in the rib on these and it'll hide that tip it real good for you you never even know it's there and like I said just keep uh, making sure you're ca capturing a few strands here and there um, it falls off a lot so we're just gonna add a few more and that, uh, you don't want a whole bunch on there to where it's overwhelming it you're just trying to make some fine and then we can trim it once you get up to the top with your tippet just go ahead and capture that tippet there and get you some wraps around that trim off your tippet um, next thing grab you a peacock feather um, I'm using ones up by the eye because they're you know a lot more bushier and we're just going to clip about an inch off the back of that thing to where we can get to the good nice bushy part of the feather there and then we're just going to turn this thing around there and build us up a little thorax here and once you get one built up that you like I mean you can let go of it so it spins off and start all over again okay so I, I enjoy showing you guys what not to do on these videos so you know if anything I can do to help you out, you know, I'm all about that. So, there we go. Capture it and get rid of that extra. And then go ahead and whip finish this thing. And zip off that thread. Now, grab a hold of those fibers and pull them back. And what you're going to do, you want to trim these things to where they're, you know, fairly short. Because like I said, you don't want it to overwhelm your fly. And if you got a big clump or something actually got captured, just pull it out of there. You don't want a big clump in there. You just want, you know, we're just making this thing, you know, just a little hairy. <laughs> like I said, we just clip out the longer fibers because you don't want them sticking past. And... Once you get that done, you can uh, you can fish this fly just as it is. I mean, it'll catch fish, but <laughs> or you can put a UV finish on it. Um, me myself, I'm using a Rapid Dry Top Coat fingernail polish, um, dollar store dollar. Um, go to your dollar family dollar. Look in the fingernail polish aisle. They'll have a little basket there with a bunch of uh, dollar stuff and that's what we buy and we're just going to coat this and get it coated up real good here go ahead and turn your fly so you can get on the bottom of that thing and you just soak her down and start stroking them back once you get it once you get a bunch of that stuff on there just start stroking it backwards that way you can get those to those fibers to lay back down and that is all there is to it done anyway that's uh caddis worm fairly really easy pattern to tie um you can uh check out my uh facebook page under the bridge flies um also under the bridge flies video check out uh my website for now it is under the bridge flies.com Got some uh, real good deals on materials there for now. 
this is a really nice pattern real easy to tie um, so I hope you uh, enjoy my videos uh, continue watching them you can follow me on YouTube as well under the bridge flies there's a shock huh <laughs> anyway I appreciate you all watching my videos and I hope you continue watching and we'll put some more on soon thank you very much have a great day